What's up, everybody? Uh, hey, I know, not my most flattering angle, but, uh, because normally I'm so beautiful. But, uh, you know, hey, green screen, uh, painting, PC. Thankfully, I can say there's nothing wrong with that, at least. Um, but, in case you guys don't know the expression, when it rains, it pours. So, last night I had a sleep study. Got up super early this morning, like, didn't sleep actually, but um, it was up at like four or five this morning to have Miss Crystal come in and explain to me. And there's another video about this, so you guys can just check up uh, the finer details on the sleep study video. But um, oh, that's why it's down so low because the camera's in this corner this time instead of one of these corners, what I'm used to. So if I hold the camera like this, no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so apparently I don't sleep. I'm supposed to be dead. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I zonk out, you know, like once a week or some jazz like that. But every other night, uh, I get just stage one and stage two sleep, which means no REM cycle, no restorative, restful, good sleep, which is probably why I pass out sometimes and why I'm exhausted all the times and why I have developed these big bags under my eyes. Anyway, so there's thing number one. Thing number two, squeaky chair. The modem is dead. You'll notice that there are no lights on le modem. And I've tried power cycling with the button in the back. I tried sticking the battery pack in the back. I tried switching plugs. I tried everything. Called them up a bunch of times, basically. If there's no power light on the modem after doing all that junk, then it's a fried modem. We did have a storm last night, which wifey drove through, and thankfully made it through because everyone was, uh, it was a bad enough storm that everybody was driving with their flashers on at like 20, 25, 30 miles an hour. So it was pretty bad. But, uh, and I got a text from her letting me know that she was safe, uh, which made me feel a whole lot better because I couldn't even think about sleeping during that sleep study until after I knew she was home safe and sound with my baby boy. At either rate, still didn't sleep. So <laughs> More on that in another video. So the internet's dead. Um, here in a day and change, because it is now the 24th, almost scrolling over to the 25th, uh, World of Warcraft releases and uh, they told me they would try to come out today to fix the modem. They never did. I called them back and the service date is, get this, September 3rd. Nearly two weeks. Uh, which leads me on to my third thing. I could, you know, just go down to the uh, local uh, Atlantic Broadband Place over here in Barmel or Aiken. I'm shaking because my, my knee is always going at it. Anyway, I could do that. Go in the morning, pick one up, and then, uh, or uh, Monday morning, I should say, because tomorrow's a s Sunday, and they're, they're just not open on a Sunday. At either rate, so I could do that. But that leads me to thing number three. Come and take a ride with me, fellas. Let me... Let me, let me, let me just take you, ooh, darkness, darkness, let me take you for a little adventure. So, here we go, unlock the door, open the door, cross through the threshold. Okay. The power of editing. So, the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys, the third and final thing, when it rains, it pours. I have to 
pop this open. Hang on. Not the most flattering look, I'm sure. But this baby. Oh, you guys all know what's going on now. That. Hang on. Can I flip this around? No, not in the middle of recording. Hang on. Now I've got to flip back around so I can see what I'm aiming at here. So, I don't know if you guys know what we're looking at here, but this is the serpentine belt. And, uh, yeah, it's not supposed to be out like that. So, I took the, we took the dust cover off. That's this doohickey right here. For those of you guys who don't know, it's the dust cover. Let me pick it up and move it a little bit. Anyway. <clears throat> These little, uh, round things that carry the serpentine belt are called the harmonics. At least to best of my knowledge, that's what they're called. And, uh, yeah. One of them straight up fell off the engine. And you can kind of see on this thing, see where it rubbed real, real hard? You can tell that rubber was burning on this thing and that it was barely on there for the last little while. I don't know if it's in focus real well. But anyway, yep. So, at first we thought it was just the serpentine belt, so we went and bought a new serpentine belt. Came back and then was getting ready to kind of dink around with it. Uh, with my dad's best bud who knows a lot about this kind of stuff. Sorry, I had to pop my finger. Anyway, as soon as we started uh, messing with the belt and kind of pulling it and seeing what's going on, we, we heard a thing finish falling out and it went kabunk all the way down to the bottom of the engine. So I was like, huh, that, that complicates things a little bit because it ain't just the belt. Apparently, whoever had worked on this before knew there was an issue. Uh... Frankly, they left a ratchet in the engine. That's right. Or a socket, I guess. Maybe it was. A ratchet or a socket. I guess the socket is the part that... The littler part. They left the socket in the engine. Because they'd worked on this before. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's issue number three. When it rains, it pours. The net went out. My sleep study didn't get enough information, and the car decided to break down in a very big way. Yay! Um, one uh, bright side to that, my modem has absolutely no reason to have any lights on. We've done all kind of hard resets, switched plugs around, everything. Last night, uh, suddenly, out of the blue, it just decided... To have lights again, which makes no sense after doing all the hard resets and switching plugs and everything else. Uh, I was told this modem is absolutely dead by the text when I called them. So there's n n you know nothing we can do. We need a new modem. It's straight up gone, fried, done, done deal. Well, it decided to necro itself and come right back, apparently. It decided it wasn't done, which is, there's no logical reason or explanation to how it came back to life. The best logical thing I can think of is that there's some kind of short in it, or maybe it was a bad ground, uh, but it came back to life, and I'm not upset about that. It's a good thing, but it means I don't have to go hunting around today or tomorrow to try to fix it, but it also means I need to be careful not to accidentally hit it or nothing, to accidentally set it off again. Uh, I'm still going to keep the appointment, though, because I'm going to let them replace that modem, because something's going on with it. Because there's no reason it ought to have, you know, just come back to life like that. I did the full resetting, factory reset, the whole nine yards. Lights should have been on when I did all that stuff, if it could come on. And they never came on, until suddenly it just decided, huh, I'm back. Anyway, that's the update for you guys. Hope it's a good one. Enjoy.